Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday, the 15th week of Ordinary Time. So let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Sometimes we go through life and we question ourselves and question others. We sometimes question God. Who was sent to heal the contrite of heart? Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us for the sin we have committed. Bring each one of us home to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, that we may honor you with all of our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. We ask this blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses, hearing the voice of the Lord from the burning bush, said to him, When I go to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, if they ask me what is his name, what am I to tell them? God replied, I am who am. Then he added, This is what you shall tell the children of Israel. I am sent me to you. God spoke further to Moses, Thus shall you say to the children of Israel, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, this my title for all generations. Go and assemble the elders of Israel and tell them, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has appeared to me and said, I am concerned about you and about the way you are being treated in Egypt. So I have decided to lead you up out of the misery of Egypt into the land of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jesuites, a land flowing with milk and honey. Thus they will heed your message. Then you and the elders of Israel shall go to the king of Egypt and say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has sent us word. Permit us then to go a three days' journey in the desert, that we may offer sacrifice to the Lord our God. Yet I know that the king of Egypt will not allow you to go unless he is forced. I will stretch out my hand, therefore, and smite Egypt by doing all kinds of wondrous deeds there. After that, he will send you away. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord the remembers, remembers his covenant, covenant forever. forever. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known among the nations his deeds. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The, the Lord, Lord remembers, remembers his, his covenant, covenant forever. forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He greatly increased his people and made them stronger than their foes, whose hearts he changed so that they hated his people and dealt deceitfully with his servants. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He sent Moses his servant, Aaron, whom he had chosen. They wrought his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, you, to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. In that short Gospel reading, it's like three verses, Jesus is talking to all of us who feel burdened, unrestful, stressed out. And that's probably most of us, I think, myself included in that. You know, we have all of our duties and things we have to do in life. And we really need to think about that and think what Jesus is saying to us today. We need to talk about what our problems are. We need to get rest. We need to do all kinds of other things. So I think we need to learn from Jesus what is he saying to people that are burdened. His yoke is easy. Well, what's a yoke? You know, if you think about what a yoke is, I think you think of oxen pulling and plowing a field. And if you really think about it, it's more than one oxen a yoke with two of them hooked together as a team going down and plowing that field. I think we have that image in our head. So we look at Jesus, we think about what he's saying today, and we think of three things. If we're stressed, if we're overburdened, what do we do? I think, well, number one, we pray more. Take time out, pray, 
think about all the things that are going on in our life. Number two, we look at service to others. We can find a lot of help by serving others for our own problems. I think that's so important. The other thing is to learn from Jesus, what is he teaching us? His yoke is easy, but what is he teaching us? He's teaching us about life. He's teaching us how to love people, how to forgive people. He's teaching us all of those things that may sound easy, but are very difficult to do in practice. So I think we think about all those things as we look at Jesus' yoke is light. You know, in Jesus' time, the Pharisees, the scribes, they put all these unburdensome, very burdensome laws and practices and customs upon the Jewish people that they couldn't keep up with it. That's why Jesus is saying, you know, think about the things that are most important. Love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might, and love your neighbor as yourself. And don't forget, love yourself. So think about all those things. God bless for our petitions, for our church. May now be a community of love and mercy and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are lost or struggling, may they be transformed by God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are suffering from any sicknesses, may God comfort and heal them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our families, may they be free from anxiety and may they be generous in showing help to others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, may they come to share in the resurrection and peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer these prayers and many more through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this bread to give you which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this wine to give you fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Friends, let's pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of God's holy church. Father, we bring to you all to these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them and transform them into the sacrament of our eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, love is our origin. Love is our constant calling. Love is our fulfillment in heaven. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death O Lord, Lord, and, and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Patsy Yancunas and Giuliano Petrucini, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory are yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. O oh Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. O God, who will we be partakers of the one bread and the one chalice, grant so as to live that we may be made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you.